I did not murder a man on October 8th, 2010 at this exact location. But speaking of murder, you guys have been killing it with the support lately. We made it to 300 plus subscribers. 1 million next. We might even surpass Mr. Beast. You know, we're just a few subscribers off. And before we get into the topic of the day, um, I want to give a shout out to this comment right here. Thank you. Um, this actually made my day. And I really do love reading your guys' comments, uh, even the ones that make me question my sanity. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, some of the, the things, things you guys, guys say. say. And as always, leave a comment down below for the chance to be in a future video. A moment of clarity. What am I actually trying to say here? Have you ever just felt for a second like you could just think incredibly clearly? The fog, it's gone. Just for a little bit. And it's not like the stress or anxiety is gone. It's still there, lingering but you feel like for a little bit that you can actually do something about it. Like the person you were just a second ago has vanished. You have all these actionable ideas and unlike before, you feel like they're doable. You feel like you're in control. Cause I'm not sure about you, but sometimes it just feels like there's a war in my head. Two sides fighting, but not one is strong enough to conquer the other. But as I just explained, sometimes one side breaks through for a short burst. I like to call this your genuine thoughts. It's never enough to change anything, but when that fog comes back, you feel like you lost something. Like a part of you wants that feeling or whatever it was to come back permanently until you let yourself fall back into the same routine, the same cycle, the same mask. And I think we can all acknowledge that we aren't always extremely truthful with ourselves and especially with others. The face you show to the world rather than what you are. Sometimes we don't really understand that either though. And that brings me to this point. Who are you really? Can you even answer that? Because maybe it's just me. But most of the time, I feel like the person who has control of the ship that is, well, me, isn't doing what I actually want. Be that being influenced by others around me, being influenced by the environment itself, even though it's not right for me, or I guess one of the biggest ones is acting in a way that goes against what I actually believe in. I rather act in a different way, but once I reach those moments of clarity, a thought comes to mind. Do I deserve the chance to be different? Maybe it's guilt from the past or the fear of the unknown that comes from trying to change. It's pretty hard to describe everything I'm saying, but you just know when it feels wrong. Trying so hard in your head, but you're stuck in the same spot you've always been in. Making so many excuses, maybe some justified, but even then, you know in the back of your head, nothing's changed. You're doing nothing. And for me, it really pisses me off, quite a bit actually, because I slowly get further away from where I want to be. And while you don't want to give up, you're finding it harder to find a reason to continue. So that's why you stay where you are, because at least then, you cause the least amount of damage possible right? The genuine you is lost more and more in this fog. The door that is changed becomes heavier. You probably had your own struggles with this, you know, whole life thing. Maybe you're going through a hard time right now, but you might be wondering, what's next? You just said it's not enough to change things, so are we just all fucked? Not exactly, and like a lot of things, it really just revolves around your mindset. And I know that doesn't solve everything, but hear me out. The person who created this fog is us. The problems in our life are mostly our fault, as annoying as that can be. And in order to start moving, we need to acknowledge that. It's not easy, and it won't be done overnight. It's more of a walk uphill than anything. But once you reach the top, you'll thank yourself for walking. And usually this is the part where I tell you to drink water and then fuck off. But I'm sorry, just let me have a pass for today. Uh, I want to say something else because honestly, I was really struggling with this topic because it's my own struggle. Maybe you thought it was just some empty words from a nobody on the internet and... Honestly, I totally get it. But here's the real truth. To start this walk, you need to have some faith in yourself. Maybe you don't really like yourself very much, so you don't really see the point of doing that. And I'm sure you heard it many, many times before to the point where it's fucking annoying, but there are some good traits in you, even if you don't believe so. The goal of this walk is to try to create a future where you can smile and accept yourself. While you might be burdened with what you are now, or maybe your regrets from what you used to be, and giving up might seem like the option to go for. It's so simple, dropping the weights of effort and acknowledging you'll be this way to the end. It might be a little embarrassing, but maybe start trying to envision what you want for your future. It might help you start moving. When you do have those moments of clarity, maybe write down what you're thinking, what you hope for, so you actually have a basis for what you want. Consider what I'm about to say as advice from a friend. Whoever you are, please, I, I beg of you, please take care of yourself. Please, you as a human have so much potential for great things, so don't throw it away, please. Even if it takes some time, show the world just how incredible you can be. You're not alone, and it's okay to struggle. It's fucking normal. And maybe by growing and trying to change and improving yourself, maybe you'll find people along the way that can help you carry the burden that is, well, life. Thanks for listening, and good luck. <laughs>